A prescribed burn on a windy day in the Santa Fe National Forest has erupted into a wildfire. And this isn't the first time this has happened. We all remember the disastrous Cerro Grande fire in Los Alamos 20 years ago. News 13's Ariana Kraft spoke with officials to ask why would they would make that call yesterday. When you're doing this kind of work, there are risks associated with it. Crews conducting a prescribed burn in the Santa Fe National Forest Wednesday say it quickly turned into a wildfire called the Hermit's Peak Fire, about 12 miles northwest of Las Vegas. The thing you have to rem or realize about this fire is that it is in extremely steep, rocky terrain, very rugged, very remote. The Forest Service says the weather that was forecasted for the day fell within the parameters of a prescribed burn, but they say the high winds in the late afternoon were unexpected and erratic. That wind did push some uh, embers outside the project boundary, and uh, we did have some spot fires. This was the first time that particular area of the forest was being treated. So they're really hoping that, you know, with the favorable weather today and tomorrow, that they will really get a handle on the Hermit's Peak fire. The fire is about 150 acres and additional crews have been called in to help stop it, including an air tanker, four hotshot crews and two additional engines. The conditions were very thicket like lots of fuels in there. So that did cause the fire to spread beyond the project boundary. While prescribed burns are needed to keep forests healthy, they can turn disastrous quickly. In 2000, the Cerro Grande fire started as a controlled burn and quickly got out of control because of high winds and dry conditions. More than 400 families in Los Alamos lost their homes and the fire caused $1 billion in damages. As for the Hermit's Peak fire, there is some private property south of where it's burning, but right now there are no structures threatened and no evacuations in place. The primary values at risk are the Guyanus Municipal Watershed, uh, which is the primary water supply for the city of Las Vegas. So that is our number one priority. Ariana Kraft, KRQE News 13. Due to recent legislation from Congress, there will be more of these forest treatments in New Mexico, including thinning and prescribed burns.